It is a triple threat right now. The flu, COVID-19, and RSV. Doctors and hospital staff, they are busy. It's more children and adults are getting sick right now. A new study reveals that Florida is also now marked as one of the states with the lowest vaccination rates of any disease. Wilson Children's Hospital confirmed to us it is seeing more RSV cases now and hospitalizations are up too. News for Jackson reporter Bree Isom has been speaking with people in the community about whether they plan to get a flu shot or a COVID booster. Bree? Yes, yeah, so a lot of people that I talk to say they're planning on getting a flu shot this year or they've already gotten it. But when it comes to the COVID booster, they're unsure about that. So are you planning on getting the flu shot this year? Oh, yeah. Always get them. So you're getting the flu shot this year? Yes, ma'am, I am. I get the flu shot every year. Many people we talked to in Riverside on Monday say they're planning on getting the flu shot this year. We don't want to get real sick and have to go to a hospital. So you haven't gotten the flu and you've gotten the flu shot? I have not. Have not. Good. It's always worth for me. But Michelle Robinson says she never gets the flu vaccine. You just explain like why you're not gonna get it. Um, honestly, I, I just don't. Um, there's no reason why I don't. I just don't. I don't get sick that often, so I don't. I don't think it's a need for me. But as for the COVID booster, people are hesitant. I'm very unsure about this one. Yeah. So I don't know for sure, but we got all the others. But I, I felt like I did the requirement. The booster was something that came, you know, after the requirement, and, and I don't think I need it. According to a study from Wallet Hub, Florida ranks 49th on a list of states that are most to least likely to get vaccinated. Alongside Florida is Georgia, Oklahoma, and Mississippi. According to Mayo Clinic's COVID-19 tracker, Duval County is seeing an average of 58 cases a day. Nationwide health officials say pediatric beds and intensive care units are now about 80% full, and that's because of RSV. Wolfson Children's Hospital didn't have an exact number, but says it's seeing a higher number of RSV cases than this time in years past. A local pediatrician says she's seeing RSV cases daily with children under two years old. She says she's seeing about three to five flu cases in children a week. The pediatrician only sees about one to two cases of COVID a week. Now, a Baptist spokesperson told me that there are four patients in the hospital with flu. That's in five of their hospitals in the city and 55 patients in the hospital with COVID. That's among all five hospitals as well. Now, flu season hasn't peaked yet. It usually starts in October and peaks between December and February. So the spokesperson said those numbers could go up. Doctors recommend getting your flu shot now. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4 the local station.